More than two dozen women say they were sexually assaulted inside the Clark County Jail. WDRB's Stefan Johnson tells us what a local group is demanding happen as a result of all those allegations. The women allege they were sexually assaulted behind me here inside the Clark County Jail. So far, there are no criminal charges, but a group of Clark County Democrats is demanding the sheriff and members of his command staff resign. We want people to see just how many victims this is. Monday morning, members of the 9th District Democratic Party gathered on the steps of the Clark County Courthouse to make an announcement and a statement. This is two military squads. This is larger than an NBA franchise. The numbers represent 28 women who allege they were sexually assaulted after an officer was paid for a key and access to a female housing pod last October. Numerous male detainees with face coverings used the key, keys obtained from the jail officer, raped, assaulted, harassed, threatened, and intimidated these 28 women. The women have filed a federal lawsuit against Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll and the officer, David Lowe, who was eventually terminated. You can't control a criminal inside your organization as the sheriff's department. Jeffersonville attorney Larry Wilder represents Sheriff Knoll and says the only person guilty of committing a crime is Lowe, who was already on his way out. He had resigned and he was leaving the facility. He made his deal with those inmates so they could access that key. But the group demanding answers says accountability starts at the top. First, we call for the resignations of Sheriff Jamie Knoll, Chief Deputy Scotty Maples, and the jail commander. The day of 44 interviews were conducted. Wilder says he has a hard drive containing security footage from inside the jail and interviews with the alleged victims. That the United States Marshal has, that the FBI has, that the prosecutor has. 44 interviews of 44 individuals who were incarcerated. Right now, the Clark County prosecutor says he has not seen any evidence that would support anyone being charged with a sex crime in the case. With photographer Dominic Furman, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.